Now I know everyone is crazy nuts over the Leica SF24D. Um, I do have that flash and I do love it. Um, but this is the SF26. Um, it is straight TTL. Um, it can be used as a slave. Um, there's slave mode and it has an LED on it, which, you know, give or take. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick shoot with this little thing to show you what it can do um, and, and the quality of it. You know, it does give you the ability to bounce. It does lay flat, um, which is really nice. Um, it has, a, you know, the push button lock. Uh, it's, it's just a nice little flash that works. Um, you know, it doesn't have as much control as the other one. It does have the built-in um, wide angle um, on it. That's basically it. I mean, you just turn it on and you can set up the compensation right in the camera. I've never had that work, <laughs> but I hope you can see this okay. But here we go. So I just set this dial up to be flash compensation. I can just turn it, make sure you click it to hold it, and that'll be your flash compensation. Um, you know, I had to do a little bit more testing with that, with this flash, because it doesn't seem to do much, in my opinion. Um, anyway, that's it, and um, you know, it just, it works every time. It has the pre-flash, um, but you know, if you're looking for a flash and you're kind of stuck on the 24D, I do love the 24D, like I said, the batteries are, you know, a little bit more expensive than AAAs. This uses two AAAs, um, but this works, uh, pretty much as good, um, honestly, and, and it's a lower form factor. Um, it's just as light, if not lighter. Um, yeah, it's probably the same weight, uh, but it's tiny and it's nice and, you know, fits in your pocket. And anyway, the Leica SF26, it's cheaper than the 24D. I think 24Ds are going for like six, $700 now on eBay. Um, uh, I, you know, anyway, uh, make sure you try this one out because it, it is a nice little flash if, if you can find them. Um, that's it for today. And, you know, here's a quick shoot with it. Just show you some pictures from it. Okay, so admittedly nothing special here. I'm just going to use a white backdrop. And not, these are coming right out of camera. I'm not going to touch these up or color correct them as you can plainly see. Um, but I just want to make sure that, you know, it works fine. This is straight TTL. Um, I do play with the plus or minus um, on the flash compensation through the camera. Um, but both the 24D and this one, it doesn't seem to do much. So, but the TTL seems like it's pretty well on. So now I'm switching to a black background or a gray background just to see if I can trick the flash or, or if it changes the exposure or anything like that. And it, the flash actually does really, really well. Uh, now, again, I'm, I'm on auto white balance, which is the worst thing beyond for a Leica camera. <laughs> Um, I should have set it to flash uh, balance, but I didn't. I just I just shot it, and I wanted to see, you know, can this thing hold up and and stay with it with the you know a white background, a black background. She's wearing black, you know. These kind of things really trick a TTL flash, and this flash actually did really really well. Now, again, I do have the 24D. It has a little bit wider of a base, but it doesn't tilt at all. This one you can actually bounce. Um, you know, it doesn't have that much power, but you can technically bounce it. Um, and it has the wide diffuser built in. Um, the 24D has the spare wide, you know, the plastic wide diffuser you have to snap on and it has a tele uh, diffuser, which, or a tele lens, which I think it's 85 millimeters and above. And the wide is 24 to 28 or 18 to 28 or something like that. Anyway, the, the 24D works extremely well, don't get me wrong, but at six, seven hundred dollars, which honestly, that's what they're going for. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, this one, you can get half that, if not less than half that, um, that when you find them. Um, but the 26, uh, the SF26 is a great little flash, as you can see, it works fine.